Starter Watts. This is Four Flavored Ice Cream by Hamlet Hamter. I'm clicking New Game now. Supposedly there are no... Alright. Funky music, funky music. Maybe the music is the reason this watt is 25 megabytes wide. Which is more than going down. Back, back, alright. I'm assuming this is a door. Okay. 552 enemies. Alright. Ambitious, ambitious. Um, there is a... There is a property on these line devs. I, you saw how they scroll down as this thing scroll down. I'm assuming that that's not what's meant to happen. I think it's... Uh, higher unpegged or lower unpegged, one of the two. Um, right? A uh, bunch of pretty clashy textures, if I can say so myself. I do not recognize the pack, the texture pack. Oh, that's an arrow. Okay. I'm assuming this requires a red key, red skull. This yellow skull, blue skull. Okay, it's interesting, I think. Uh, right. Right, so these are the costume enemies. Are they from. A, no, not from a are they from. Stealth uh, demon. They have more health than imps. Alright. Doesn't appear to be any pain elementals just yet. It's raining. I mean, lost souls though. Could really use some more shotgun ammunition. This level is very ambitious. I don't even know how else to describe it. This guy's projectiles are fast. Anyway. Where are the others? Eleven out of five hundred and fifty two. All right, I'm definitely saving now. Four flavors. I wonder whether the four flavors refers to the four doors. The first one, then the red, blue, and yellow ones. Right, this is probably going to take longer than I had expected. Celebi, I suppose. Water. <sighs> These two islands here. It's nice that you have uh, height variations, like all those little things that protrude and these things. Does this point me in a direction? <laughs> no. Uh... <laughs> Alright, an interesting use of textures. Really, this room is honestly way better than this one. Also, the elevator, you might want to use a different texture from the walls to indicate that... Not to indicate anything, but just because since this is different, it just feels right that this would be different. So this room has... These, this texture in particular has a lot of texture to it, for lack of a better word. And so when it's in, applied to such a large scale, it kind of clashes on itself. Uh, also, this is a bit too bright for the floor. That one also has a bit too much texture for the top. And also, now that I think about it, this has a very high brightness. But the main issue with this room are the doors. 
The doors! Holy crap, the doors! What kind of texture are those? Also, the fact that they're not all lined up. When you're working with uh, diagonals, it can be very hard to line them up properly. Um, there is a scale function on textures on line devs, which you can use to try to make doors fit. But failing that, it's usually better to just stick to, you know, straight doors or 90 degree angle doors. Not diagonals, but rather straight doors. Right, and narrow, that's interesting. I have food. Alright, I grab them. Uh, you might want to have a different texture for the, the top of the door than for the... Ah, fuck me. Why do I feel like I recognize those guys? Also, I could really... Thank you. Whoa. Right, the reason I can see the entirety of it is because this does not go all the way up to ceiling height. Heard of that. What the fuck are you? Jesus Christ. No, it's probably best to just stick to one location and let them come to me. Right, jeez. Sounds like Ratchet and Clank music, now that I think about it. <sighs> Alright, let's go in there. <laughs> oh, these assholes. If I get stuck here, I'm gonna be screwed. Mission, I need more. You need to add more ammunition to your level. Ah! Oh, oh. Evil Nuts Fireballs. Right. I know that ammo conservation can be an interesting mechanic, but especially when you have these large sized maps, everyone's instincts always go to just hold the fire button and try to kill everything before it kills you. And that usually burns through a lot of ammunition, so... Especially when people do not know the enemy placement and the ammo pack placement. Being a bit stingy on ammunition can be really troublesome, can be really... Really, really, really problematic. It's just really annoying. What can I do with pestle bullets? Ah, oh, thank you. Four flavored two. Right, if you didn't know that this existed, then you had to travel the entirety of the maze without it. And that can be obviously hard, which might be the, the objective, but... <sighs> oh, not this guy. 
He has too much health. Alright. Hugging the right wall, hugging the right wall. And then back to where I started. Right, hurts. Let's hug the left wall now. Fuck! Alright. Fuck. <sighs> right. I wonder, does this hurt any less? Alright. Understandable. The hell are those? Let's deal with these guys first. The map is very big, and not only is there very little ammo for such a big map, that's all oh, you know. The problem with these guys is that they can be snipers. Hit scanners, scan these snipers on big maps are very troublesome. Yeah, but for such a big map, you actually have a very small amount of enemies to this. Maybe it's meant to be like decorations, like this is some kind of poisonous swamp. Um... Oh, there's another one. Right, I mean, maybe you expected these things to be way more... To produce way more sparks than they did, um... Alright, those are things. Alright, let's focus. Hit scanners. Let's hit scanners. to hoping that there's nothing left in this labyrinth. But I seem to remember that this existed. Uh, right, also another problem- oh god. Another problem of uh, having plenty of diagonals is that as you saw up there, the, the floor looks weird, it looks wonky. Because the most textures are designed for squarish or square designed spaces. The, the same problem was in the starting area. This is very ambitious, and for something so ambitious, it's working surprisingly well. There are a couple of things that could use some updating here and there. Ah. Uh, here the texture is a bit lower than here. You can use uh, on GC Doom Builder Shift A on one of these to automatically align all of the others. This, this is... If you have unaligned textures, it usually conveys a secret. So yeah, you can do that if you wish to hide a secret. Give me right. Ooh. Because of the ammo 